Okay, thank you everyone for uh, doing the Christmas quiz today. Um, so I'm just going to go into the share screen now so you guys can see the questions. going to go through each round and we're uh, going to go through each question. Um, so, okay, here we go. So rules, basically no cheating, no Google and have fun. Um, first prize today is a festive hamper. Second prize is an Amazon voucher. Third prize is Harry Bow. And then the boo prize is a wooden spoon. Okay, so we've got round one. Oh, we've had it. We've got a late joiner joining us. Emlyn has just entering the building. So we'll just uh, wait one Hello. second for Emlyn. Hello, Emlyn. How are we? Uh, very well, thank you. We were just about to start. You just snuck in there. Who have I? You oh. have. Right then. How are we? So, yes. All right, Emlyn, I'm just about to put you on mute. Um, and then uh, we're going to start the quiz, which is round one potluck, okay? All right then, guys. So, question one. What is the name of the group captain who Princess Margaret fell in love with but couldn't marry due to the Royal Marriages Act of 1772? If you are a fan of the crown, you should know the answer to this question. Okay. So, yeah, so what is the name of the group captain who Princess Margaret fell in love with but couldn't marry due to the Royal Marriages Act 1772? Okay, so next question, question two. How many Carry On films did Dame Barbara Windsor appear in? That's how many Carry On films did Dame Barbara Windsor appear in? Do you want me to give them any choices? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no. Prizes are at stake. <laughs> okay. So, next question. Question three. Which country was formerly known as Ceylon? Ceylon. Ceylon until its name change in 1972. Actually, yeah, I wasn't born then, because I did have to look this one up. There we go. <laughs> okay. So, next question. Question four. Which British soap has celebrated its 60th birthday this year. Again, it's been on the news a hell of a lot. It's been a lot of adverts on the TV. So hopefully you've seen it if you don't watch it. Okay. So question five. Which country became the first to give women the right to vote? Which country became the first to give women the right to vote? Everyone's really got their thinking caps on. <laughs> okay, question six. What is the name of Dennis the Menace's dog? Okay, number seven. How many coloured rings make up the Olympic flag for the Olympic Games? I 
there is no bonus point if you can name the colours. Just how many coloured rings are there? <laughs> okay, question eight. Which famous artist's studio was called The Factory? So which famous artist's studio was called The Factory? Okay, so I'm to question nine. What element on the periodic table has the symbol CU? C for Charlie, U for uniform. What element on the periodic table has the symbol CU? Well, I'm not doing this. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> and question 10. Since 2002, what is the name of the venue where the Academy Awards are held each year? Also known as the Oscars. So since 2002, what is the name of the venue where the Academy Awards, aka the Oscars, are held each year? Does anybody want me to go through any of the questions again? Or have you Can you do number one, that? please? Number one? Yes, please. Okay. Right, go back to number one. What is the name of the group captain who Princess Margaret fell in love with but couldn't marry due to the Royal Marriages Act of 1772? Princess Margaret is the Queen's sister, just to give you a bit of an extra clue if that helps you at all. Thanks. Okay. Any other questions, anybody? No? Okay. All right, so we'll go to the next round. And because it was so popular last time, I've done it again. Flags of the world. <laughs> oh, look at the faces. <laughs> because it's so popular last time I'm doing it again so I bet none of you revised flags because you didn't think I'd do it twice <laughs> you didn't think I'd do it again but I've I got have. a special talent for flags I know everyone in the world and there you go so well, you should get 10 out of 10 then for this mm. one okay so next so first one is that one So I'll leave each one up for a few seconds, but we can always look at them again if we need to recap. So that is flag number one. I can't see any. Sorry, Ronan. I can only see round one, pot look. That's what I can see on the screen. You can't see a flag? Oh. Okay, well, I'm going to stop the sharing and then I'm going to share it again so i'm going to stop it and then we'll come back to it so hold on one second okay so i've stopped the share now i'm going to go back to share screen is that better can you now see it can everyone see the flag yet yeah. Yeah, everyone? No, Ronan, you still can't see it? It just okay. says you are started screen sharing, but I can't see anything. Sorry. I can't see anything. Oh. Did you see all the questions previously in the potluck round? Did you see the questions? No, it was just the front screen that said um, potluck. potluck, and that was it. Oh, okay. So, hmm, what could that be? I'm going to share again. Let's see if have more options. I'm just going to stop the share again. Okay, so now we're back. 
Let's um, I'm just going to try this one. Is that any better? I don't know if it's just me. Should I leave and come back? Do you want to log out and log back in and see if that works? Ronan, if you want a tablet, you might need to swipe the window. No, I'm on my laptop. I can oh, see okay. Gemma McArdle has started screen sharing. Um, just completely black. Other than that. Can you see everybody else at the moment? Um, no, I'm on the screen sharing view and I can just see down the right hand side people's face, little boxes. Yeah, so we can see people's faces. And see what you're sharing, if that makes there sense. Was, there was also a Zoom update issued yesterday. You might need an update. Yeah, but it might also just be a, an unstable internet connection, Ronan. You might need to actually log off and then log back in again to get your video caught up with the rest of the feed. All right, I'll do that. See you in a sec. Okay, yeah, we'll, we'll hold there. Sorry. Everyone, no, it's fine, no, it's no problem. No, it's no problem. Like I say, everyone can have a look at flag number one a lot longer mm -hmm. and ponder over it mm -hmm. and see if it, you know, it wrecks your brain if you haven't already got it. So wrong, you might not get this to point. <laughs> you might not to get it and come back. Oh, while we're waiting. Yes, I am. Yeah, right, I'm going to try and join on my laptop because I'm on my phone at the moment. <laughs> okay. What's, what's the number? The number for the thing, give me one second. It is. No, it's after the past. Yeah, eight one four nine. That's it. Yeah, that's it. It's saying, please move this window away from the shared application. Hmm. And it's a password. Yeah, let me get What's the a... one second. I need to go to the events. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Cool, blimey. Is that that big long one? The, you, the long you know? one is actually the link, which will bring you straight in if you can click the link. No, I haven't got it on the. Okay. Let's pause the recording, Dad. Pause the recording. Hang on, I'll do it a different way. Okay, we are back. So let's go to share screen. Okay, flag number one. Put it that way, I could I could stare at that screen until kingdom come. I still never know. <laughs> <laughs> when I tell you what the answer is, you'll really kick yourself as well. <laughs> <laughs> you really will. Half the channel is now. We <laughs> <laughs> figured it out. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to go to flag number two. Now, flag number two. There is a clue there on the Union Jack, but Mm. Well, a few in there, a few. there is. There is. I love how Kathy's wife is really getting in there. So I'm like, I just, I just love that she's really getting in there to have a look. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Moving on to the next one, you can do them again, it's not a problem, but we'll move on to the next one. Flag number three. 
Okay, flag number four. As everyone, as soon as someone came up, boom, straight got the answer. Yes. Everybody knew that one. Everyone knows this one, I think. Okay, number five. Is that a real just made these up. <laughs> of course they are. Come, Dad, you should know all these. We used to do this when I was a kid all the time with the flag book. Yeah, you know, it's easy when you've got the answers in front of you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Daniel's just like, <laughs> he said no. <laughs> um, flag number six. This is where everyone wished they watched the Olympics in more detail. With all the with all the athletes from all the different countries. So everybody sends somebody to the Olympic Games to hold these items. Near enough. And if it's not the you know like the Olympics, it will be the Winter Olympics as well. You've obviously got that as well. So okay, flag number seven. Flag number eight. Okay, flag number nine. <laughs> yeah, well, Christmas themed, yeah. Have oh, my cracker. <laughs> I suppose if you if you if you know your sport, a lot of your sport. Are this a, are this a Christmas cracker? Is it Lapland? <laughs> <laughs> nice guess. Nice guess. Well, I'll give you this one for free. No. No. <laughs> And the last one, number 10. Okay, would anybody like me to just quickly run from number one back through to number 10 so you can have another quick look at them all? Yeah, okay. Okay, so we're gonna start back from the beginning. Okay, so flag number one. Flag number two. Flag number three. Flag number four. Number five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, and ten. Okay. All right, so we'll move on to the next round, which is sport. Okay, so we're moving into sport. Okay, question one. Liverpool were Premier League champions in 2020, but what year was the last time they won the title? So Liverpool were Premier League champions in 2020, but what year was the last time they won the title? Twenty twenty. 
ha 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 previous to 2020 okay so question two in this year's i'm a celebrity get me out of here which football ground was jordan's happy place in this year's i'm a celebrity get me out of here which football ground was jordan's happy place do you mean the name of the ground or the, the name of the ground oh. yes so it's like the name of the ground oh. yep when he was doing the trials he said happy place happy place duh 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 and he kept saying the name of the football ground over and over and over and over again constantly for two weeks really must have been on commission <laughs> yeah don't yeah. forget to keep plugging our ground <laughs> yeah don't forget <laughs> yeah <laughs> Every time you mention it, a yeah. thousand pounds. <laughs> I really don't think that football team could afford it. Um. <laughs> yeah, but can I just say, um, yes. I don't think this is a strictly a sport question, but I'll leave it. I'll let you have it. <laughs> well, it technically is because the fact, they don't know me. I know it's like it could be a TV question as well, but I have a TV round. <laughs> <laughs> so. Quizmaster rules. <laughs> okay, question three. Who is the most capped rugby union player for his country? That does not make sense at all. Um, who is the most capped rugby union player? So there is one player who has the most caps for oh, his country, country but he also has the same um for the whole world so he actually has the world record as well so this particular rugby union player has the most caps for his country but he also has the most caps in the world and because i'm feeling nice i will tell you it is a Welsh player. So, who is the most capped rugby union player in the world and for his country? And it is a Welsh player. <laughs> no, <laughs> definitely not a Welsh player. <laughs> and was he, was he this week? I don't know, I can't remember. No, really, it was. Um, Never played for the All Blacks. He played for the All Blacks, right. Okay, question four. <clears throat> How many times did Red Rum, Red Rum win the Grand National? How many times did Red Rum win the Grand National? And this is one of those questions where you've heard it so many times. You don't ever log the information, I don't think. Okay, question five. Which is the oldest county cricket club in the UK? Which is the oldest county cricket club in the UK? Do you mean first class county? So it's not something like Oxfordshire, it's a proper county it's team. A, yeah, it's a it's it's a, a county. The the answer is actually that it is a real county, but it's also a, a county cricket club. Right. So it's not Oxfordshire, as an No, I know, but they're but, a county. But, but, but they're, they're, yes, yeah. It's it's the oldest. It is a county, it's also a county cricket club. Yeah. Okay, question six. Which British city was the last to host the Commonwealth Games? Which British city 
was the last to host the Commonwealth Games. Okay, question seven. How many teams are participating in the current Formula One season? How many teams are currently participating in the current Formula One season? Okay, question eight. Male gymnasts compete in six medal events. Floor, rings, vault, parallel bars, the horizontal bar, and which other? So you've got the floor, you've got rings, you've got the vault, the parallel bars, the horizontal bar, and which other discipline? Okay, question nine. Sorry, Gemma, I had to be, I had to be um, a killjoy, but could you just go, just go back to that for me, please? Oh, yeah, no problem, not a problem at all. No, we can go back. Oh, sneaky, sneaky question 10. Male gymnasts. So you've said six events plus which other, and you've got one, two, three, oh, four. Oh, so sorry, it's parallel oh. bars, isn't it? Yeah, five. Okay, yeah. I'm waiting now. Sorry, yeah. just reading it. Sorry. And it's also, I did this quiz quite late at night, so there could be some mistakes, there could be, you know, some grammatical errors, I don't, but yeah, <laughs> but well, yeah. I've had a half a bottle of wine, so I might be reading it wrong anyway. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm on the strong stuff, Coke Zero, so. <laughs> oh, I'm on the strong stuff today. Okay, so question nine. In football, what does VAR stand for? And if you don't know what it really stands for, we would really like some comical answers. So VAR, what does VAR stand for? Do get any points for a really good comical answer? Maybe, I might, I might give a point if you get a really good comical answer and then get the right one. Because I know some football teams would like to call it something else. <laughs> and question 10. What sport features in the 1992 film starring Tom Hanks and Gina Davis, which is called A League of Their Own? What sport? Features in the 1992 film starring Tom Hanks and Gina Davies in a league of their own. Oh. You have seen the film many times with me. Mm -hmm. Okay, so does anybody want me to recap any of the sport questions? Sorry for keeping you up, Jonathan. I apologise. I'll get through it as quick as I can. This, this, this is what four hours work does to me. Knackered. Yeah. <laughs> so everyone's okay with the sports questions. Okay. Right. So the next round is Christmas and music. Christmas and music kind of joined the two together. Christmas and Christmas music. We all like a, a good Christmas song every once in a while. So, question number one. Which children's TV character beat Westlife's What Makes a Man as Christmas number one in 2000? 
So which children's TV character beat Westlife with their song, What Makes a Man, as Christmas number one in 2000? I believe it was 20 years ago when this happened. Okay, question two. Which country is credited with starting the Christmas tree tradition? Which country is credited with starting the Christmas tree tradition? Question three, if you were born on Christmas Day, what would your star sign be? If you were born on Christmas Day, what would your star sign be? Question four, Christmas Island is in which ocean? Christmas Island is in which ocean? Okay, number five. Which famous actress sang with Robbie Williams in the Christmas number one, Something Stupid. Which famous actress sang with Robbie Williams in the Christmas number one, Something Stupid? Question six, what three gifts did the wise men bring for Jesus? Which three gifts did the wise men bring for Jesus? Question seven, how many ghosts appear in a Christmas carol? How many ghosts appear in a Christmas carol? My advice to you would be really think about it with this question. Really think about it is the advice I'm going to give. Don't ask it for that. Mm, yes. Just have a think before you write down your answer. I think a lot of people think it's one thing, but it's not. Okay, question eight. In the film Home Alone, starring Macaulay Culkin, where were the McAllisters flying to when they left Kevin? So in the film Home Alone, where were the McAllisters flying to when they left Kevin? And I would like the city, please, not the country. <laughs> For the city, please. So in the film Home Alone, where were the McAllisters flying to when they left Kevin? And again, we've all seen this film a million and one times, and we're trying to remember. Okay, question nine. Which Christmas carol tells the story of the Duke of Bohemia, which is now called the Czech Republic. So which Christmas carol tells the story of the Duke of Bohemia? Now well, considering Republic. nothing, giving nothing away, considering I was born in that country, if I get this wrong, I deserve <laughs> to be shot. <laughs> <laughs> so you, see, I thought this question was just for you. So Thank you. Words, you know? It was a Daniel question. <laughs> Okay, and then question 10. 
which Wham song is the most famous Christmas pop song to never reach number one? Which Wham song is the most famous Christmas pop song to never reach number one? Okay, so does anybody want me to go over any of the questions in the Christmas music round? No, everyone? Everyone good? Yeah, okay. Right, final round. What's missing? So I'm going to give you a series of things or names, and you have to tell me what's missing. So for example, if I said to you, Victoria, Emma, Mel B, Mel C, who's missing? The other one. So the answer would be Jerry. So that's how these questions work. Okay. So question number one is Lennon, Starr, McCartney, and who? Okay, question two. Rachel, Ross, Chandler, Joey, Monica, and somebody else. Okay. Next one. Ontario, Superior, Michigan, Erie, and what? Ontario, Superior, Michigan, Erie, and what? I'll be honest, I had to look this one up. That's why I thought it was a good question. So I had to look this one up. Okay, question four. Scarecrow, Tin Man, Dorothy, Toto, and Blank. And I'm not after the wizard. Just to, don't want the wizard. <laughs> so Scarecrow, Tin Man, Dorothy, Toto, and the other character that went down the yellow brick road. Okay. Question five, Amy, Beth, Joe, and blank. Amy, Beth, Joe, and blank. Okay, question six, Leonardo, Michelangelo, Raphael, and blank. And again, I don't want splinter. So Leonardo, Michelangelo, Raphael, and blank. If you have kids nearby, it might be good to shout them over. <laughs> of a certain age. <laughs> well, it's on TV now. Oh, so, yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, okay. it's on the TV now. Yeah, if we could have questions on Fortnite, I'll win. <laughs> and you know what? I don't know anything about Fortnite apart from Fortnite. That's it. That's all I know. 
but it's a game. So I know two things. <laughs> okay, question seven. Rudolph, Donna, Cupid, Vixen, Prancer, Dasher, Comet, and again, if you have children, it might be wise to uh, to call them. So Rudolph, Donna, Cupid, Vixen, Prancer, Dasher, Comet, and blank. I believe there's two missing. Is there two missing? I think there's nine reindeer. Is there? Oh, there might be. We will check. I will check. Do we get a bonus point for having both that are missing? If there is two missing, yes. And I don't mean Santa. I don't want to know about Santa. <laughs> I thought there was just one missing. But again, I was doing this quiz late at night. Getting it already. How about if you've got both of them, we'll do a bonus point. Or if you've got one or the other, you can have one point. So we'll do that. That's fair, isn't it? So, question eight. Canada, France, Germany, USA, UK, Japan, and blank. So Canada, France, Germany, USA, UK, Japan, and blank. Okay. Now, we don't have any of our Scottish friends here with us today because they should get the next question right. So, question nine. Aberdeenshire, Angus, Ayrshire, and blank. There is another county in Scotland that begins with an A. That is what I am looking for. So, we've got Aberdeenshire, Angus, Ayrshire, and blank. Okay, and the last one. Catherine, Anne, Anne, Catherine, Catherine, and blank. So Catherine, Anne, Anne, Catherine, Catherine, and blank. Okay, so would anybody like me to run through any of the who or what's missing? No? So we're all ready for the answers. Do you want to give me? Do you want me to give you a couple of minutes just to? Yeah, a couple of minutes. Okay. Okay. So what I'll do is I'll go back to the start, and then we'll go through the answers. Okay, guys, so anybody want me to go through any questions again before I give the answers? No, there you go. Martin showed me his uh, evidence that he wrote them all down. Yes, so we're all going to mark out. And then, well, yes, everyone's got the scribbles. That's good. Okay, so we will go for the answers. Let's go back to share screen. Oh, hi, Emily. We can see you now. <laughs> Hello. Right. Hello. Jump we can't hear you though. We can see you. Cool, yeah. I know it's very nice that you've got your Christmas jumper on. I just want the bells. See? And matching earrings for bells as well. So okay, so guys, if you want to unmute yourself, you are more than welcome to because now obviously we're going through all the answers. So I wasn't on mute, I was on mute as well. Yeah. <laughs> You're on mute. Right, so we'll go back to share screen. 
Um, so we'll go back to the questions. Okay, so um, round one, hot look. So the first question was, at the name of the group captain, it is group captain Peter Townsend. Guys, so if you, if you were a fan of the crown, you would know, or if you're very up on your uh, royal family history, you would, you would know. Oh. Okay, so question oh. number two. How many Carry On films did Dame Barbara Windsor appear in? Nine. The answer is nine. Yes. Nine. Got five a bit like it. <laughs> okay, question three. Ceylon, or Ceylon, is, Ceylon. Oh, Ceylon is now Sri Lanka. Uh, Sri Lanka is the so, modern name for the country. Sri Lanka. Well, you didn't say. I knew it wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> and then question four: Which British soap has celebrated its 60th birthday this year? Coronation Street. Three. I'm sure it's coming up to Christmas. Someone will get killed. I'm sure. There's always usually a murder um, around Christmas time to Curry. So I'm sure somebody will have their end. Um, question five, which country became the first to give women the right to vote? It was New Zealand. Oh, yes. Yes, oh. yes. so oh. New Zealand was the first country to oh, give right. women the right to vote. What that? I know. No, I don't know. But I know they were, they were the right country. Um, mm. We can find that out though. Um, question six, what is the name of Dennis the Menace's dog? It is Masha. Masha, yes. Masha is the name of the dog. Well, I've got four out of six so far. Mm -hmm. That's not bad going. Um, question seven, how many coloured rings make up the Olympic flag? It is five. Yay. Five. Yes. A lot of uh, Olympians do get it tattooed on themselves after they've participated um number six at uh, number eight even going back in time number six oh gosh i'm going home soon question eight um which famous artist studio was called the factory it was andy warhol Yay. andy warhol yes <laughs> now we're all thinking back to our school days when we did the periodic table um which element is the symbol of cu it is Copper. Yay. Copper. And um, question 10. Um, the Academy Awards are held at the Dolby Theatre. Dolby oh, Theatre. D O L B Theatre. It's not the Chinese huh? Theatre, it is the Dolby Theatre. Mm. Has it changed its name? Yes, it has, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. since 2002. That's why I put 2002 yeah, in the question. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. Right, round two. Oh, flags. <laughs> okay, flag number one is Egypt. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah. I'm still on the wiser. <laughs> yeah, they, a lot of people go on holiday there, so you, you, know, you think actually you see it fair often than what we do. And then flag two, that is Fiji. Oh, oh. There you go, so that is Fiji. You, you know, we knew it was part of the Commonwealth. It's going to be, well, yeah, so be a high scoring round, this. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. Number three is Barbados. Oh, yeah. You should yeah. know. Barbados. <laughs> They're all cricket. I sort of recognise you from the cricket. From the cricket. That one. Yeah, I'm so yeah. yeah. And then now, if nobody gets this one, come on. This, I think this is like the easiest one out of the batch. This is Canada. USA. No. <laughs> USA. <laughs> yes. So that's yes. Canada. <laughs> and then number five, that is Latvia. Oh, yes, Latvia. <laughs> Remember last time I put in Lithuania, so I thought, oh, I'll put in its neighbor this time for Latvia. <laughs> Flag six, you all will kick yourselves if you haven't got this. For how many runners compete in the Olympics? This is like yes. 
And then there's also mm -hmm. a very famous film as well. It's Rwanda. This is Rwanda's what? flag. What? No. Rwanda? No, no one recognises it. And then number seven. So again, this is a, a very popular destination for Brits. It's Portugal. Oh, oh, oh. Portugal. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> it is Portugal. Oh, and then, <laughs> <laughs> and then <coughs> great, if you like your World Cup, again, the football you will see this lot, it's Uruguay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uruguay. I think it was Greece. <laughs> Very similar to Greece, yes. The Greece, oh, yeah. Greece has the um the like the plus sign rather than the sun. But yes, I can see why you thought that was Greece. Yep, yeah, that's um very similar. I didn't think it was Greece, it was that one there. Flag <laughs> <laughs> oh, number nine. <laughs> Been watching the Formula One recently. This is Bahrain. Um, Bahrain's flags. This has been on the news a fair yeah. bit lately. Um and then number 10 um, is the Philippines. Oh. Philippines. <laughs> well, zero. that's a big fat zero. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. I got 50%. You must have got Canada. <laughs> you got Canada. Okay. So, round three sport. Um, Liverpool were last Premier League Champions Prize 2020 in 1990. Wow. 1990. Damn it! That was the last time they won it. Oh, 1990. Yeah. Um, then question two. Um, Jordan's happy place was Turf Moor. Which I is Burnley. Turf Moor. Burnley. 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 Yeah, Turf Moor. Turf Moor is the, uh, the answer to that one. Uh, question three, who is um, the most capped rugby union player? It is Alan Wynne-Jones. Alan Wynne-Jones. That's my really bad Welsh accent there, but there we go. And then how many times did Red Rum win the Grand National? It was three. Three. three, three times oh, on the national. Question five: The oldest county cricket club is Sussex. Sussex. Well done, um, all there you go. <laughs> Sussex is the answer to that one. Oh. Question six: Which British mm. city was the last to host the Commonwealth mm. Games? It was Glasgow. Yay. Yeah, I thought cool. I thought quite a few people might have put Manchester. Well, I got I put Manchester. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's why I thought I'd better make sure I put British City just to make it a bit harder. Because if I had put Scottish City, it would have probably been Glasgow or Edinburgh. It would have been my city fifty shot. But yeah, it was Glasgow. Question seven. How many teams are participating in the current F1 season? It is ten. Oh. There are ten oh. teams at the moment. Mm -hmm. It's around about 20 cars racing, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So we took a guess at 10. Yeah, well, that was a good guess then, Emily. Good good guess. Guess. That, was a great, that was a great guess. 20 cars racing, there's usually two people. Question 8 Male gymnast, uh -huh. the event missing out of that list is pommel the horse. pommel horse. That's yeah. the one. The yeah. pommel horse. Yeah. Yeah. Question 9 VAR stands for Video Assistant yeah. Referee. Yeah. Now, has anybody got any funny ones they would like to share with us? What yeah, but they all, they all start with B. They all start with B, <laughs> rather than B. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I think um, it should be OPR, which is overpaid referees, but, you know, because they <laughs> clearly are not doing their job properly, I have to say. And then the last question, uh, what sport features in the 1992 film A League of Their Own? It is baseball. baseball. And if you have not seen that film, I recommend it wholeheartedly because it is a superb film um, about the ladies baseball league during the war. Absolute superb film. Also has Madonna in it as well. We got 12 out of 13 questions. Ooh. Um, I'm quite impressed actually. So, round four, the Christmas music round. Um, which oh. children's TV character 
It was Bob the Builder. The Builder. Yay. Yes. Can yes, we, we can. fix it? Yes, yes we, can. we can. There we go. That's the one. I'm trying to. It was Neil Morrissey, I think, who was the voice of Bob yeah. the Builder, wasn't it? There you go. It's Bob the Builder. Um, Blobby. <laughs> You see, I think it was Blobby the year after. I think it was Blobby the year after because I think Bob mm -hmm. the Builder was one of the first novelty acts that got the that got the. Yeah, and what the song was? It was. I think it was like it's Blobby World or something. I think is what Mr. Blobby did, but uh, but yeah, Bob the Builder was called Can We Fix It? You know, so. Mr. Blobby's was called Mr. Blobby. Was it just called Mr. Blobby? There you go. Yeah, it's good quiz be. question for next time. There you go, that's it, but I just told everyone the answer. <laughs> uh, which country is credited with uh, starting the Christmas tree tradition? That is Germany. Germany, <laughs> Germany. yes, they are credited with uh, starting the tradition. Um, question three, if you were born on Christmas Day, what would your star sign be? You would be a Capricorn. Uh. <laughs> so you would be Asleep. a Capricorn. <laughs> I can't rely on you to do anything right. <laughs> uh, Christmas Island, question four. Christmas Island is in the Indian Ocean. Oh. Indian Ocean is where Christmas Island is. The famous actress, I did think about putting Australian act actress in there, but I thought that would be make it a bit Easy. easier. It is uh, Nicole Kidman. Nicole Kidman. Oh. Nicole Kidman. Uh, question six, which three gifts did the wise men bring? It was gold, frankincense, and myrrh. So I need all three for the point. If you've got two, I'll give you half a point. Okay. And then uh, question seven, how many ghosts appear in A Christmas Carol? It is four. Four. Yeah. So you've got the Christmas past, present, present. Future, Future. But you've also got Bob Marley. Bob Marley shows up as well as a ghost, that's why it's full. Yeah. Uh, eight. In the film Home Alone, where were the McAllisters flying to? It was Paris. They were going on holiday to Paris for Christmas. Oh, abroad. Yeah. And we're going abroad, yes. Yeah. So Ameri um, uh, Americans with passports. I yeah. know. Yeah. I know. Americans in the 90s as well. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, question nine. I'll let um, I'll let Daniel answer this one. <laughs> Which I Christmas hope, Carol is it? I hope it was uh, Good King Wenceslas. Um, it is. Down so with a piece of what? speech. That's the one. Don't eat the butter. Who did anything? Yeah, it's Good King Wenceslas. Well done. That's the right answer. <laughs> and question ten. Which one song is the most famous Christmas pop song to never reach number one? It is Last Christmas. It has reached number two on more than one occasion, but it's never actually reached number one, which is a travesty because it is a great, great song, yeah. Christmas Last song. Christmas. Yeah. Okay. Um, what's missing? Round five. Okay. Lennon, Starr, McCartney, and Harrison. Harrison. Harrison, yes. I thought I'd start off with an easy one. Ro and then Rachel Ross, Chandler, Joey, Monica, and Phoebe. 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 Phoebe is the answer. Okay, question three. These are obviously the Great Lakes. So we've got Ontario, Superior, oh, wow. Michigan, Erie, and Huron. Yes. Huh? Um, You're wrong. Yes. And then we've got Scarecrow, Tin Man, Dorothy, Toto, and the Cowardly Lion. The lion. I will just accept Lion if you've just put Lion. Cowardly <laughs> Lion or Lion. That's, um, the answer. Oh. Yeah. Amy, Beth, Joe, and it's Meg. These are the March sisters from the novel and book Little Women. So it's Amy, Beth, Joe, well, and the answer is Meg. That's for women. Yeah. I have no idea. I'd say it. I don't want it. When I said that, I thought we were all in. Name it Beth and Joe. <laughs> yeah. a bit more, shall we? <laughs> well, I was going to be Then I thought, no, because that would have then help. And then we've got uh, question six. Uh, Leonardo, Michelangelo, Raphael, and Donatello. Donatello. 
Donatello is the other Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle that is missing from there. And then question seven. I dropped the answer down as Blitzen. So who yeah. else have I missed off, guys? Who else? Answer. Answer's there. A dancer. Oh, is there dancer as well? Yeah. He does. Oh, well, there we go. So if you either put Blitzen or dancer, then you've got a point. So there we go. And then question eight. Uh, these are the G7 nations. So it's Russia. Italy. So it's Canada, France, Germany, USA, UK, Japan, and the answer is Italy. They are the Italy. Italy. Yes. Exactly. Oh, yes, it is Italy. I was surprised too. But it is Italy. Italy. Uh, question nine is right. Aberdeenshire, Angus, Ayrshire, oh, and Argyll. Hey, Argyll well, is the other county. Oh, this is oh. a question. Okay, Seth. Okay. <laughs> And then Maybe you'll listen to me in future. Catherine, Anne, Anne, Catherine, Catherine. So is that? Uh, no, 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 it's not. It, it, Jane. It's Jane, yes. These are Henry VIII's wives. Ah. So we have Catherine of Aragon. Yes. Then, we have Lynn. then we had Jane Seymour. Then we had Anna Cleves, Nine, Catherine Parr, and then Catherine Howard, or maybe Howard and Parr have the wrong way around. And then we have Henry Wise. So, could you please add your scores up, please? And then I'll go around the room. Were there two Janes? Got what score? Sorry? Were there two Janes? Jane Boleyn and Jane Seymour? No, no Anne, Anne Boleyn. Anne Boleyn, Daniel. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I've had a glass of wine. I've emptied it. There you go. That's it. <laughs> James Moore. So, uh, Jonathan, what score did you get? 25. 25, okay. And then Martin, what score did you get? Martin, are you still adding up? You're on, uh, you're on mute. Oh, um, that's 12. 40. 40. Okay. Never close. Daniel, what did you guys 20, get? 27. 27. Lovely. And Zimmel? 37. 37. Lovely. Um, Neil? 25. 25. <gasps> Would have been 30 if you'd have listened to me. <laughs> <laughs> Katia, what did you guys get? Katia, what did you guys get? Well, we got 24. 24, okay. Uh, Ronan, what did you guys get? I got 40. Oh, what? Oh, You've got a tie break there. Five Okay, Ronan, 40. And then, Emlyn, what did you guys get? 23. Is there a good one? Oh, oh. You get the winning yeah. spin prize. Oh, oh, I'm going to win the winner. Second, anyway. right. You're a winner, Emily. That's it. You're a winner. Okay, so we do have a tie break question. Okay. Oh, we do. Yeah. We had to choose this last time. So we're using it. We're using a different question this time. Okay, so please tell us throughout right 50, which we've got those. That is lovely. Tie break question. How high is Mount Snowden? in meters who's this for this is for martin and ronan because <laughs> both of those guys have got 40. Um, this is the time you want us to write this on a bit of paper so we can then hold it up that's it you write it on a bit of paper and then you'll hold it up to the camera and i want it in meters please and what we're doing the one nearest to the right the one side. nearest will oh, okay first, the and then the other team will come second and then the team who have come in third is oh, now. So now like. <laughs> okay. so when you're ready to hold up your paper, I'm ready. You're ready. So Martin, do you want to hold yours up first? Can you see that? You need to go back oh, just a little bit. Okay, so you've got a thousand. Okay. Yeah, so we've got Martin who did a thousand. Okay, and then Ronan, what have you guys put up? Is that 3162? Okay. Oh my goodness. 3162. Okay. The actual answer is 1085. 
This Ooh. is a fix. <laughs> I mean, I picked a round number. I just. <laughs> Since we're talking about well, not feet. I think we done it in feet. <laughs> Her fault. Yeah, so Martin, after coming second last time, you've done one better this time. Yeah, you've won. So you've won. So Martin will send a festive hamper your way. Wow. Um, Ronan, Thank you very much. He will send you guys the Amazon voucher your way. Thanks. But please note, other retailers are available. Um, <laughs> just to put that out there. Um, and then, uh, no more, uh, we will send you some nice Haribo goodies. Up your mm. Mm. Okay. My kids will love those. That's it, yeah. in the shop. So we'll send them across. And then Emlyn will send you a spoon. <laughs> spoon. So, you know, you're going you're gonna to get you one mm. spoon, okay? So, but again... I can't guarantee when you'll get it because Royal Mail are not doing very well at the moment. So you might get it for Christmas, you might not. Mm. <laughs> but no, but guys, thank you very much for joining in. I um, do appreciate you guys. Um, thank you for organising it. Yeah, thanks for sorting it. Thank you. I, I, I try and not make them too hard or too easy. I try and, you know, do a, a fair balance. I guarantee next time I won't do twice. I've done it twice now, so I guarantee... <laughs> Don't believe you. You can do you can do semaphore flags, Gemma. That will work. <laughs> so yeah, so I will. So um, if I don't speak to any of you guys before Christmas, hope you guys have a nice Christmas, and um, and like I say, we'll see you soon. We will probably do a quiz in the new year again after everyone's all got settled back in. And, um, and like I said, yes, Emlyn, did you want to say something? Oh, you? No, no just, just thumbs up. Look. That's okay. <laughs> but yeah, so happy Christmas, everyone. Have a nice new year. Um, the office is open between Christmas and New Year. We're open on Tuesday the 29th and the 30th as well. So we're having half of the staffing on the Tuesday, the other half of the staffing on the Wednesday, um, if you need anything. Um, and we'll probably be closing around about 2.30-ish on Christmas Eve. So we will, we'll speak to you guys later, okay? So Thank good you night, very much, Gemma. Thank and you. we'll speak to you later. Okay, Merry, Merry Christmas, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.